Law enforcement relies on people like you to call in tips on active investigations. Deputy Chris Paul from Crime Stoppers joins us this morning to tell us who to be on the lookout for and how you can help solve a crime. Good morning, Deputy Good morning. Paul. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. Let's just jump right into it. Who should sure. we be on the lookout for this morning? Sure. The first person we're looking for is Dexter Marcel Williams. He's a um, black male. He's 29. He's 5 foot 8, 185 pounds. He's wanted by the House County Sheriff's Office for burglary. Uh, the second person we're looking for is Luther Bennett Lewis. He's a white male. He's 52 years old. He's 5 foot 3, 150 pounds. He's wanted by the Jones County Sheriff's Office for probation. And the third person we're looking for is Johnny Knight. He's a black male. He's 32. He's 5 foot 9, 165 pounds. He's wanted by the House County Sheriff's Office for a robbery by sudden snatching. And these are our suspects wanted all over the middle Georgia area. Crime Stoppers yeah. covers a wide, wide area, right? Eight different counties. So it's uh, the seven continuous counties and Baldwin County. And talk about how our viewers who can who can uh, who are watching maybe know these people or spot these people in the sure. community. How can they call in with tips? Sure, they can call one eight seven seven six eight crime if they know that this this person is we're looking for. They can also call nine one one if they feel this person has been threatened or whatever. But one eight seven seven six eight crime is the number they can call us. So they can also go to our Facebook page now and also on our website oh. and leave a tip that way as well. Fantastic. How what kind of information when should they be providing to you? What kind of information they try and gather? Sure. Um, once you go onto our Facebook page on onto a website. It's going to be a wanted person. It's going to have a um, scroll down menu, list everything, that height, weight, all that information is already on there in the pre, pre box already. Mm -hmm. So fill in that information and then hit send and then we'll get it and we'll, we'll, we'll go forward from there. And what should they do if they see one of these people in if, the community? Sure, if they see these people, don't approach them. Try to get as much information as you can, um, height, weight if you can, description of clothing, if they're in a car, which direction of travel they, they may be going, and then call us and let us know, and then we'll try to get somebody out to try to find them. And I hear you can get money for Absolutely. for sharing these tips. Talk Abs about that. Absolutely. I mean, each crime, there's a numerical um, value to it, so the more ser serious the crime, the more money you can get. You automatically get $1,000 for any murder, um, mm -hmm. So, but then every, every crime after that is a it's a value assigned to it. And you guys have dished out a lot of money over the years. Absolutely. Over the 13 years we've been in existing, we shared out almost $600,000. So we have paid out a lot, a lot of money. And these tips are very important. Absolutely. They, they, I mean, they, they're the eyes and ears of law enforcement. So we rely heavily on the community to give us that information. All right. Thank you so much, Deputy Paul, Thanks for joining for us me. this morning. And again, if you spot any of these people or have a tip, you can call Crime Stoppers. That number on your screen, one 877 crime and you may be eligible for a reward.